Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to go over the dankest memes from the r slash dank memes from site19 subreddit. We're gonna get started right now. Our first meme is from underscore shoulder underscore. Well, it's 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 appropriate, I suppose, that this is in the this is the very first one. Um do do we do I need to do it again or should I do it again? Uh, Dr. Sumerian, r slash dank meme from site19 users, subscribers. Oh, see it again, Sumerian. Ahoy hoy. Now, <laughs> oh gosh, what's the origins of that necessarily? I mean, it's just something I actually say sometimes, or at least I used to. Um, I do love that when people are like, is that a... Uh, uh, is that a is that a Monty Burns reference from The Simpsons? And I'm like, no, The Simpsons. OK, I don't know for sure what they were thinking when they first started making that joke, but I would guess that the joke they're making is that Monty Burns is so old, which is a joke they make a lot of. But he's so old that he uses the original telephone greeting, which is Ahoy Hoy. Uh, when Alexander Graham Bell first invented the telephone, uh, he wanted the standardized greeting when you picked up the phone to be ahoy hoy um, or ahoy and uh, it didn't take really or if it did it didn't last for uh, very long but uh, the joke with Monty Burns is of course that he's so old that he uses the original um, and it's just something I like the sound of like ahoy hoy um, a little original I said not original it's a little um it's not fully unique, but not a lot of people do it. And I'm kind of, yeah, I'm not, I'm not one of those people that's such a slave to uniqueness to be like, I won't do it unless no one else does it. So, you know, yeah, hoy hoy. Not that anyone needed to have an entire history of it, but here we are. R slash, another one from underscore shoulder underscore. Uh, R slash dank memes from site 19 users when the dank meme isn't from site 19. Okay, so um, that's true of like, a lot of SCVs. I mean, Site 19 is big and does contain a lot of a lot of Series One stuff, but uh, it is interesting if you th really give it some thought. That dang memes from Site 19's memes aren't mostly about Site 19 SCPs or even stories that take place at Site 19. Just something to consider. That's all I'm saying. What people think the procedure 110 Montauk is. What the procedure 110... I like... This is reversed from the normal one. I like I, li I like it when people reverse stuff like that. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, this is uh, this is from appropriate underscore check 125. Um, it's actually... Hey, they put it on their thing. That's great. Um, it's actually in the image. Uh, this is a thing about... Um, uh, uh, Let's, there's a, there's a, I have to talk around 110 Montauk without actually talking about 110 Montauk. So the thing about that, the thing about the original SCP that that comes from is that there are a lot of, well, obviously there's a lot of troubling implications when it comes to 110 Montauk. And I've always enjoyed, of course, and most people who understand this meme would understand what I'm talking about here. I've always enjoyed um, fear alone. The idea that, um, and, and the concept of the Scarlet King is contained by fear alone. You don't actually have to do the horrifying things to the child. You just need to make everyone think that you're doing those things. Uh, and the just pure, f and, and there is a thought to that, that, you know, human fear is such an um, eldritch concept to this thing that it's just like, okay, well, I must be succeeding because there's a lot of fear around this. So good job. Um, but yeah, um, it's, it's a favorite interpretation for a lot of people because it salvages what is essentially uh, an irredeemable concept. Well, not obviously not irredeemable, but a nearly irredeemable concept into something that's more palatable. Uh, but if you read the original article, the implications are pretty clear. So any sort of uh, adjustments like fear alone are really less interpretations of the original and really more um, uh, not necessarily spiritual rewrites, but uh, reconceptualizations 
of the original. It's 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 very difficult to actually if you if you let your mind disconnect them, uh, it's easy to say that, you know, fear alone's concept of um, the thing that Montauk says is happening isn't really happening uh, is the real containment. But if you read the original article, you're going to find uh, the, the Scarlet King and the Seven Brides. What's going on there is, I mean, don't say with any certainty, but every single thing implies or implies one thing, and it's very difficult to make any kind of judgments elsewise, other than to say, as Fear Alone does, all that's made up. The whole thing is made up. It's something else. But if you're going to do that, you can make it anything. This one's by Balloon Observer 28. The GOC explaining how they were completely justified in slaughtering an entire town with innocent bystanders and children just to kill an innocent teacher doing nothing wrong. Now, uh, <laughs> I was I, I think I scrolled down and I found it eventually, but I scroll. I, I was I saw this and I, I only included it because I, I I saw the the meme and was like, I don't know what that's from. That checks out. Yeah, that's the GOC. Uh, I just thought that was a funny thought in my head to come up with. It's like, no idea what article this is from, but that's that definitely exists. That's on the wiki somewhere. This one's by FanboyX27. <laughs> you are a self-insert. I am an author avatar. We are not the same. Um, yeah. I guess... Also, people like to have like a sense of superiority over other people. So we're like, uh, I'm an author avatar and you're a self-insert. So like, whatever, man. Uh, <laughs> in exactly that voice, by the way, every time. Um, now, the, the, I mean, yeah, I think self-inserts are generally bad in fiction, but people in, let people enjoy what they want to enjoy just as long as they're not, you know, putting it in front of me to read. Um but uh, author avatars are just a fun thing that the site does that's a little unusual, but not uh, outside the realm of possibility or, uh, or good. Or, it's not outside the realm of good writing as long as you, um, you know, as long as you're clear about it. And, and also you're not making it a self insert like you're not so precious about like one of the things I do with Jer Jeremiah Sumerian very often in stories is kill him. You can't do that really with a self insert. And if you do it with a self insert, maybe you have some serious issues. But um, an author avatar is just a, sort of a character that happens to be named after an author. And that actually props up in regular fiction from time to time. I wish, now that I've said that, that I had an example in mind, but I, I'm certain that I've seen it before. Um, and, 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 and to be honest with you, if you like, watch interviews with authors or creators of TV series or movies, you'll see them say things. I should say writers of, uh, you see them say things like this character dr borrows a lot from, you know, me or borrows a lot from someone, so someone else. And they are avatar sort of uh, avatars of the authors. So this one's by Lule diamond. Um, yeah. Marine mammals hate him. He pissed them all off using one weird trick. Find out how, Mm, not 100 percent sure you will find out how that's the joy about uh, uh this is one of those things is like everyone's always like oh, i think it's better to leave things unsaid uh and honestly uh fuck off carl the article i wrote uh my highest rated article of all i've got like 115 articles up and this is still the highest rated one at like 732 i think last i'd looked might be more might be less um uh, was really sort of a commentary on the idea of not saying what's really going on. Uh, whatever Carl did, man, it really angered all seals everywhere, but no one has any idea what that thing was. And uh, anytime anyone asks, my answer is just Carl knows what he did. A uh, Mundatorum. It's, it's interesting. We have two Giancarlo Esposito uh, memes here. SCP Foundation normally. <laughs> SCP Foundation and SCP-5000. Uh, I don't really... I feel like this is almost a sense of like... Uh, I don't, what's their, those, those two pictures are the same. The office meme with Pam going... Uh, they're identical. I mean... 
the SCP Foundation. I mean, and also, I want the main reason I included this meme is uh, to reiterate how oh man, how little impact SCP Five Thousand had on me. In that, when I read this meme, I could not remember, even though it gives you some context. You know, the SCP Foundation becomes kind of evil. I couldn't remember the article. And I'm pretty good at remembering stuff. I might not remember the numbers of things, but I can remember, like, you give me the number, give me a little bit of context, I can usually recall the idea. Um, but that's how little impact it had on me, which I, I find uh, more and more <laughs> hilarious every day. It's it's not a badly written article. It's just, it didn't hit with me. And, it, you know, that's not necessarily the fault the author the author the author clearly wrote something that people enjoy it's just not for me oh that's the last one cool beans all right well thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the memes and enjoyed the video hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when i upload new videos and it's a brand new month so it's a great time for you to pledge on patreon at patreon.com forward slash d sumerian you can pledge at any level, like everybody here on the screen already has, including MC Kajmil, who's pledged at $50, and Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday. Took me a second.